Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to look at an addition strategy today that involves using nearby landmark numbers. Landmark numbers are can also be called friendlier numbers. Um, they can also just be thought of as numbers that are easier for us to add, that we're much more comfortable with, much more familiar with. So I'm going to sh show you the same problem twice using nearby numbers that are easier to add. So this is 28 plus 29. Goodness gracious, this would be so much easier if it was 25 plus 25 because of quarters. I know that 25 cents plus 25 cents is 50 cents. So why not make these both 25? I'm going to do that. I'm going to take 28 and turn it to 25. 28 is really 25 plus 3 more. And 29 really is 25 plus 4 more. So now I can do that and I see, oh yeah, I'm just adding 25 plus 25. 25 plus 25 is 50, but I still need to add the rest of the value that um, is needed to make 28 and 25. So I still need to add plus 3 and plus 4. So I'm going to add 3 plus 4 to get 7. So I have 50 plus 7 is 57. So 28 plus 29 is 57. So that's one way to do it by using 25 if you if you really like using the number 25 to add. Another way to do that though would be to uh, think of those numbers as pretty much 30. 28 is pretty much 30 and 29 is pretty much 30. So I'm going to think of 28 as 30 minus 2 and I'm going to think of 29 as 30 minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to add the parts that are easier. So I'm going to add that 25 plus 25, or in this case, that 30 plus 30. And then I'm going to take away the value that really isn't there because 30 and 28 aren't the same. I've got to take two away to make it 28. And then I've got to take away one more to make 29. But I'm going to add 30 plus 30, which is 60. And then I'll take away two and I'll take away one. So 60, counting down to 59, 58. Counting down one more is 57. So 60 minus 3 is uh, 57. So 28 plus 29 is 57, just like we saw before. So we could consider each of these numbers as something smaller. We could consider each of these numbers as something larger and then take away what wasn't really there. Or, as you'll see in the next video, you can consider one of those numbers as changing and making an easier number. So making this one into 30, but then keeping this one as 29. And then you'll have one less step to do when you're trying to equal out um, the actual value. So you can watch that in the next vi video. Um, thanks for learning with me.